Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of the water comparison video series. Today we're doing a comparison of all five of these waters. We have four bottles and one weird pouch thing. So in round one, I gave you a detailed description of each of these waters. If you want an in-depth look at each of these waters, go back to round one. And I compared them to a single bottle. This is round two. We're just going to do mostly just a taste test and pick one winner to move on to round three. So here we go. First up, we got Fiji water from Italy. This is from the store Fonatelli's Italian Food Center. This water apparently helps people with kidney stones. Next up is Iceland Spring Water. This has a high pH level of 8.88. And then we have Avite. It says water with caffeine in it. It says the equivalent of one and a half cups of coffee worth of caffeine in it. Next up is Nestle Splash Water. This was up against other Nestle Splash Water flavors, and I decided that the winning flavor was lemon. My personal opinion, but that's the one that I decided won. Next up is H2, Hydrogen Infused Water. This is in a weird aluminum pouch thing, and this helps athletes. Apparently the hydrogen makes it so they have less lactic acid in their muscles when they're working out. I think it's a it's an interesting design. So let's just open them up and start doing a comparison. Fiji has a nice metal lid that goes well with its glass container. It's pretty high quality. I like that they actually even like indented Fiji or Fuji or whatever it's called in the side of it. So it's not just a generic bottle, like they have their own unique bottle, clearly. Glass bottles definitely have a unique taste to them. It's, it's a very good good water. Here's the Iceland spring water. They have the full-sized lid on here. This is a very big bottle. This is one and a half liters. And so this is water from Iceland. It's near the Arctic Circle. And I think it's in Reykjavik where the water's from. This is one of those waters where I could easily drink this whole thing. And that's a really good sign of a good water. <clears throat> if you drink a lot of it and you feel kind of sick, it's a pretty good sign it's not a good water. This is not that way, though. Here's a Vite. Water with caffeine in it. So right now it's um, about 10 p.m. <laughs> so it's probably a bad time for me to be drinking this. I should have did this review in the morning. Yeah. It says unflavored. It says it right there. In the first review, I noticed the flavor, and I'm noticing it again. This definitely is not unflavored. You can taste the caffeine. Nestle Splash. This is supposed to have a flavor. It's supposed to be lemon. Yeah. Tastes good. Tastes like lemon. Tastes sugary. If, if that's what you're looking for, get this. I think it has zero calories and zero sugar. It's all just artificial stuff to make it have the flavor. If that's what you want, this is a good option. If that's what you want. Here's H2. Yeah. Unique small lid. I think this says you should drink this within half an hour of opening it. But it just dripped on me again. In the first review it spilled on me like on accident also.
it's a good one. I don't taste any hydrogen at all. It just it just tastes like water. Uh, it's, it's like an aluminum container. I do not taste any aluminum at all. Um, it just tastes like you know, good water. Okay, so to start this off, <clears throat> I'm going to eliminate the, the Nestle. If this is what you want, if you want a flavored drink, get this. This gets, I mean, I'm giving this a thumbs up. All the all five of these waters get a thumbs up for me. But I'm going to eliminate this just because this channel is about, like, water. We, we should be focusing on water that tastes like water. Um, so that, that's eliminated from this round. Next up, I'm just going to eliminate this one right away, too. Because it has the taste. I mean, again, if this is what you want, if you want caffeine in the morning and you don't want coffee, this might be for you. This might be good for you. But I'm eliminating it because of the taste. It it tastes like um, somebody crushed up a vitamin mixed it up in the water. Yeah. Like, if I didn't know this had caffeine in it, if this just came out of the tap tasting this way, I would, like, contact the the water department and tell them there's something wrong with my water because this doesn't taste right. <sighs> okay. Here we go. This is... 33 fluid ounces. Okay, an interesting thing about the Iceland water. A YouTuber by the name of Daniel Lamitz left a comment on my first review of this water. He pointed out that this is made by the same company which makes three other waters which I reviewed before this this company also makes the vitamin shop water the Lish water and Glacier Isle and apparently they're supposed to all taste the same but that's not the case the Lish and Glacier Isle were good waters they were very good waters they tasted very similar to this I would give both of those a thumbs up but the vitamin shop water I would give a thumbs down it tasted bad it tasted like a rubber glove it tasted like very plasticky maybe it has something to do with the bottles because all four of the bottles that that company makes for these different brands are all different bottles and the vitamin shop bottle had a suction lid like the one you pull up and suck on so maybe it was the lid that leaked into the water and caused the vitamin shop water to taste bad that's just a theory of mine um but that's thanks for leaving that comment daniel that was interesting need to know that um, it's from the same company. It's a good water. Okay. I'm going to eliminate the, the Fuji Watcher from uh, Italy. This was $2.69. The reason this bottle made it to this round is because it was up against a sparkling water. And so this one had an easy time making it to this round. This one is not a bad water, but it's not as good as these two. It's Going back and forth, it's very clear that this is not as good. This might sound weird, but it tastes like glass. <laughs> Um, Starkey Spring Water is in the lead right now. Starkey does not taste like glass. This one does. I don't know why. But this one is out. These are both good. These are both very similar. <clears throat>
it's nice having five still waters. My in round two, the last time I did round two, it had five sparkling waters. I did not like that. I just, I felt bad and kind of sick at the end of that video. I really have nothing else to say about um, these waters. They're very similar tasting. Um, this is the, this is a very unique bottle, that's for sure. Or, I mean, pouch. It's got the cool logo. The element chart logo of hydrogen. This is a tough one. I think I'm going to say that um, Iceland is the winner. It's it's a, such a like a narrow difference, but this one's slightly better. It's got the high pH level. It's got a really good taste to it. I don't even like the bottle for this, to be honest. This has like random dents in it. Um, kind of looks like they're there on accident. They're not. They're there on purpose, but there's nothing special about the bottle. It really just comes down to the taste. This is a good tasting water. So there you go. Congratulations, Iceland Spring Water. You're moving on to round three.